Hey guys, this is Mother Trucker coming in to you from Springfield, Missouri from the Mothership. I am here in the Express Lube area. I've got to get my oil redone because they overfilled it. So they're going to have to redo it. And um, I took a load going to Florida. I know I'm Western Regional, but I did not want to get stuck here in Springfield because you know how it is. You get into the terminal and it is just like a vortex it sucks you in oh and y'all just my luck last night the tornado alarms go off here at the terminal you know um so that was a little like uh i don't think so um a Dorothy Knot not wanting to end up in Kansas you know uh that could be a critical event right. I just think I was shaking and jerking and there's no way they're going to believe that you followed your speed limit or they're going to think I have my truck all altered because how else is it going to get there that fast, right? But anyway, um, the tornado alarms went off and if, like, we moved to Oklahoma when I was 15 and I was in the two largest tornadoes in recorded history. They were about 10, 15 years apart. And same route, same path, everything. So, I, tornadoes scare me to death. So, when I hear a tornado siren, I take it seriously. So, anyway, we had that excitement last night. Yay. And um, I am looking forward to kind of going up into Florida. Because it's something different when you're Western Regional. You know, and you get a chance to do something. Oh, sorry, guys, moving that. You get a chance to do something a little different. It's kind of nice. Um, as far as the face lift stuff going on, for those of you who are interested in that, it's still morphing and changing. And my chin's like a little swollen, spongy ball. So, okay, just a second. So that's still going down. Okay, let me pull forward, guys. And we will explain to them what is going on with my oil lines. But we are, I go in in January, well, in July. Just a second, guys, let me get part. Okay, let me over. I'm in the oil bay, I'm not on the road. Yeah, I had my oil done here just about two weeks yeah. ago. It's overfilled. overfilled. Way overfilled. It, uh, when you pull the dipstick, it goes to the top of, you know, the flat part of the dipstick yeah. before it turns warm. It goes all the way to the top of it. And I called Road Assist, and they said, get it back in. Yeah, we'll try it off. And the other thing is, um, can you see if you have a screw? Because my dipstick deal came off the little bracket it's supposed to be on. Okay. You'll see when you look. I don't know if I have any screws, but I'll, I have some zip ties. I can probably zip ties. Yeah, if you could do something like that, I'd be so grateful. Yeah, you're, you're, so, you're so kind, thank you. So anyway, what's going to happen next is I'll go in. They're going to look when everything's down. Like, um, I might need a little filler right in here. Because you got to understand, I literally have my face destroyed, stomped in. And that's why there's this little bump here, the skin when it was being stomped on, ripped this part of my face off. And the doctor in the ER just stitched it back up. And, you know, it left this drooping part that they might have to put, he said, a little crescent-like uh, incision. He tried to do it without the scarring, which is kind of silly because there's a scar underneath from where it tore. Um, so, that might have to be done. Just a And on a deep plain case, if they tighten up all the muscles underneath, and then they lay the skin back over, and then they will laser resurface it later to get rid of the fine lines. And, you know, let's face it, I'm 
58 and a half, I'll be 60 in a year and a half. So, you know, you're going to have some lines. So anyway, guys, that's what's going on with this quick deal. Um, I had to go off my medication for almost two months and I gained 10 pounds because I didn't do the gradual off it. So I got to lose, you know, now I want to lose about another 25 pounds. You know, so I was 15 from where I wanted to be. So, you know, it's all good. It'll come off pretty quick. Uh, otherwise, everything's going pretty good outside of tornadoes and having to redo the oil on my truck and different things like that. Other than that, life's been pretty good. Uh, I have not been back to my house since I left. I picked up my new student, of course, as y'all know. So we're going to be trying to get through Vegas, grab his ID. Um, also, I want to get through my house and drop off the cushions for my dinette and get them out of the truck. Because I got a mattress for the lower bunk for where my student would be comfortable. When I'm solo, I'll pull the mattress out and put the cushions back in to build my dinette. Um, and another thing, I've been hearing so many people are quitting because of these inward facing cameras. You know, you shouldn't have a knee jerk reaction, at least try it. I guarantee you, your fear of what if is way worse than what is actually happening. You know, so. I'm giving it a try. I'm, I'm going to give it a 100% try. Uh, you just got to go in with a good attitude to things. And then if it doesn't work, then you give your notice. You go on to the next place. But if it does work, you know, and it's not everything you feared, then what did you, you know, you could have lost a lot by quitting. And I know freight's slow right now, but it is starting to pick up. And there's just a lot of what ifs. Let me see what's going on here. So, you only know it before. Oh, right? see, the other day it was up to here. Yeah. Did you check it like right after you shut it off? Did you let it no, set it on? No, it was after I said overnight. Really? And I've been running it out here, so I don't know if it's pulled up in there or what, but. They probably pulled up in there. It's a little bit over. Yeah, because when I said overnight, yeah. it comes right up to here. No shit. And I was like, okay, that ain't That's good. Way, way too dangerous. Yeah, and um, so oh, I checked it like three yeah. times, and I was like, okay, this ain't good. Now, if it's been running and you just checked it, it shows it's over, but not no, as yeah, over. Like and over. Yeah, and this is all the way to the uh, top of the flat yeah. part. And that's yeah, after that's it sets like overnight. Because I sat there running the truck for yeah. a while. And I said, oh, shit, Michaela, you shouldn't have been running the truck. And it could be pulled up in the engine. So I don't know if you just want to let it set and see what happens. or Yeah, well, yeah. yeah so, yeah. Sorry. Oh, like okay, honey, cool. sounds good. But anyway, no, they're just kind of let the truck set to let the oil settle down. And, but anyway, guys, um, like I said, I, I forget where I was at, but the what ifs are so much worse than that usually what actually happened. And sometimes it's not as good. You know, you pictured it to be much better. Like I pictured not to have a wrinkle one. Of, you can see still where that burns are on my face. But. You know, I also knew that we were going to have to re laser the whole face to get rid of all the lines, which is cool. So, anyway, guys, just wanted to shout that you had not put out a video in a few days. And, um, sorry, guys. Um, but anyway, everything else is good. Freight is starting to pick up. Thank God. Um. I know sales is working on some new contracts. There's a lot of exciting things fixing to happen here at Prime. 
and I'm just kind of riding it out. And what's the worst that can happen? I end up going somewhere else. I end up doing a truck. Yep. I have to start the truck to do it. Okay. That did? Yeah. So anyway, you know, you just have to, uh, I'm giving things a chance. And like I said, if it worst came to worst, I would just hop over. I have alternatives. That's why I always discuss on my lives and ask you guys who are not at Prime that are drivers out there to say, hey, this is why I'm working and this is what I'm making, this is what I'm doing. Not to be braggadocious, not to uh, be trying to put your personal business out there, but we're helping other drivers that might be in a place that it's not going so well. You know what I'm saying? We've got to help each other out out here. And the thing, one of the things I do love about Prime is we have a lot of brothers and sisters in this company. You know, and we're always rooting for each other. We're always trying to help each other. But sometimes it's just time to move on for some of us. So anyway, guys, that's all I got for you today. Lots of love. Until next time, Mother Trucker out. Shiny side up and the rubber on the road.